Would you be my American boy? Hi there, welcome to the first of a few videos and masterclasses that we're doing with YMM to look at musicianship skills. My name is Becca, I'm a vocalist and musician, and today we're going to be looking at something that can be a little bit scary, improvising. But don't worry, we're going to make it very, very easy. What do we mean by this word, improvising? Maybe it makes us think of huge jazz musicians like John Coltrane and Miles Davis. Maybe it makes us think of those amazing guitar solos in our favourite songs. Or maybe even it makes us think of when we're in a band and suddenly everyone stops and looks at us and it's our turn to play something. It could be any of those, but did you know improvising has been going on for hundreds of years. And way back in the day, amazing musicians would finish off their pieces with huge flourishes of all the amazing things they could do on the piano or in their voice, in what we call cadenzas. So it's a very, very old device that we can use in music to make something new and exciting. But how do we find those new and exciting ideas? Well, today, we're going to use something that we know very, very well. We're going to use the melody. So with any given song, whether it's a pop song, a jazz standard, anything we like, we have a melody that we learn and that we know really well before we do any sort of performing, right? So what if we took this melody that we've been given, that we've studied, to help us improvise. So let's break it down. What do we have in a melody that we could use in a solo? First of all, we've got lots of different intervals between each of the notes that create patterns that we can borrow, that we can change around. Boom, we've got a bit of a solo. Or maybe we could use the rhythm of a given section Maybe we just need to change one note per phrase. Suddenly, it sounds completely different. The best bit, when we have a melody, we already know that it works with the harmony and the chords that are already in the song. So let's have a quick example. So we could take any song we like. I'm gonna take American Boy by Estelle. So the chorus of that goes, Take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday Take me to New York, I'd like to see LA I really want to come kick it with you Would you be my American boy? American boy So let's look at that melody a little bit Start with B, A, G sharp, E and that's sort of a riff that goes through this chorus, doesn't it? Take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday. And then the harmony changes, which means that that G sharp needs to become a G natural. So then it becomes, Take me to New York, I'd like to see LA. That's a really interesting melody that we can borrow. So let's say, for example, we want to perform this song, but no one knows the rap. So we're going to put a solo in. So it could be anyone, could be a trumpet, could be a piano, could be a singer. So let's take that little snippet of melody that really is characteristic of our chorus and use that as a starting point for our improvisation. So it's B, A, G sharp, E that then changes to B, A, G natural, E. So let's see how that sounds. Would you be my American boy? And it went to a solo here. Change. That's a really effective riff that works the whole way through. But it starts to get a little bit tiring, doesn't it? So what could we do to this riff that we've chosen to make it sound a little bit interesting? We could change the rhythm. 
we could maybe change the order of the notes, we could flip it upside down. Maybe we could do a bit of both. So have a listen, see what I've done to that riff when we do it this time. Would you be my American boy, American boy? What did I do? I started off as it was and then I changed direction and then I missed out a note. And these are all ways we can take little snippets of that melody that we know so well and start to change it to create a new bit of melody, a new improvisation. So if you want to learn a little bit more and work on any specific examples, come join the workshop in the link below and we'll work through all of that together. Thank you.